For months, your people have struggled through swamps and forests, across deserts and frozen wastes, battling storms and high seas that threatened to dash them against the rocks. They came to escape from the tyranny of the evil Lord Black Dark, whose rogue financiers had crushed the population to little more than indentured slaves. Fleeing a land where toast is rationed to only the select few and uh, the good people eat only stale bread, your brave subjects have fought and suffered before arriving on the shores of this remote island. It is here they hope to find peace and tranquility, where they can farm and build a new... Oh look, there's Bernard. Hello. Where was I? Oh yes, to a land where your people can build a new society, where freedom and toast are available to everyone. And it is up to you, our steely-eyed leader, to build a brighter future for your brave pioneers. Because let's face it, the villagers aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. This is the world of folktale. Welcome to our new village. Let's practice moving around. Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen will move you in that direction. Alternatively, you can use the W, A, S and D keys or the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can point the camera by holding down the right mouse button and dragging the mouse left or right up and down. Finally, you can adjust the camera height by scrolling the mouse scroll wheel or using the Z and X keys on your keyboard. To test your navigation skills, I've highlighted a location on the map. Go there now to continue our lesson. We should set to work building a windmill and planting wheat fields that can be harvested and milled into flour. Click on the notice board near the empty plot. Superb! Our villagers will set to work hammering and sawing. In the meantime, why not place one or more wheat fields next to the windmill? The closer resources are to buildings, the less time villagers will spend transporting goods and the more productive they can be. New building options are available. Hmm. On my way. New building options are available. Great! You've just trained your first specialist. The farmer will tend to the fields, planting seeds and harvesting wheat before delivering it to the windmill to be milled into flour. Your villagers will then be able to buy flour from the storehouse to make bread, generating more income for us. We should build a woodcutter's lodge close to the woods and train one of our folk to be a woodcutter.
New building options are available. Good. Now select one of our folks and send them to the Woodcutter's Lodge for training. into planks that can be used to construct other buildings. We'll also need more iron bars and stone. Build an iron smelt near the iron mine and train a miner. Boy, you best not be messing with me. something. What's up, Slick? I've got the set. Building options are available. miner can get to work, we need to clear out the rat infestation near the mine, and hoist our faction flag to state our claim. Select one or more villagers and right-click on one of the rats near the iron mine. You're mine! Call out people! Stay this land! Oh, well done! Now move some of our villagers close to the faction flag until it changes to our blue colours. When the flag is at the top of the pole, we gain control of the resource and our miner can start extracting ore. Hmm? Heading there now. build a stone cutter's lodge near the stone quarry and train one of our villagers to be a stone cutter. Whatever you say. Ready to work. Make way.
new building options are available. Something to be done? Absolutely. Yes, my dear? My pleasure. Yep. On my way. Resource secure. What did the big man say? Big man? <coughs> he says he's been talking to them weirfu monks who is like all the way up on the mountain, innit? Innit though, they is proper in the clouds. And they see all these like filthy human beings getting comfy on our turf. All building villages and thing, you get me bruv? I hear you man. So the big man reckons they is all our property and he'll get some wicked coin for them, innit? What's the plan? We go down there and they're all like, Oh no, please don't make us into slaves. And we like, take them back up to the big man. They got any protection, bruv? Nah, man, that's the best thing. They got nothing. Let's do this. I hear you, man. Let's do it. <coughs> Listen up. You is all the property of the slave master, Urzal. We is taking some of you to be his slaves. The rest of you better shut it or we will take all of you. This is our village now. You get me, yeah? Well, I guess we ain't alone on this island no more. So what are we gonna do, lads? Well, we can't just leave them to the goblins, can we, dear boy? We should go and rescue them! But we're no soldiers and we ain't got no swords or nothing. If we don't go and get them back, them goblins will be thinking we's all just here like turkeys waiting for Thanksgiving. We need volunteers. Good, brave lads who can go on a rescue mission. What about you, Bernard? After all, they did take your wife. Uh, well, um, uh... Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, I can't go. I've got, um... Important buildings to make. Shoot, I can't go. Uh, I've got important, um... Logs to chop. And I've got, um... Important, uh... Holes to dig. Hey, didn't they also take Jethro the farmer? What? They took Jethro. You know, the farmer. But that means... What? That means that we can't grow wheat. So? If we can't grow wheat, then we can't make bread. So? If we can't make bread, then... What is it, man? That means we can't have toast. That's it, boys. We're going to get Jeffro. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yeah. Let's get the wife, too. Let's get tooled up. One of your buildings caught fire. We need some improvised weapons to defend the village with. Build a barracks and send one of the villagers there to get him equipped as militia.
new building options are available. Before sending out a party of adventurers to rescue the villagers, we should give our militia some combat training. Right, there are some mischievous looking critters yes, close to the village. Clear them out and okay. let's see if there's anything interesting to be found. What's to be done? Right you are. Something to do? Yes, Petal. All right, my love. Ready to serve. Mine is to obey. beyond the village borders and see if we can pick up the trail left by the goblins. We're going to need more manpower to keep growing at this rate. Constructing two more cottages will encourage new settlers to arrive on the boats. to work. What is it, man? New villagers have arrived. My pleasure. Great, my 
little village is a bustling hive of activity. But we're going to need more food as new settlers arrive and more diversity as their taste buds develop. Build a cow pasture for milk and a chicken coop for eggs. Then we can start Pays selling them from the storehouse. Building options are available. New building options are available. Your villagers are lacking in faith and desperately need moral guidance. We should consider constructing a monastery and training some monks. New building options are available. Yep. On my way. Good! If we build a bee yard, the monks will start brewing mead, which we can sell at the tavern to generate income. Yes, my child. New building options are available. Excellent! Now construct a tavern and train an innkeeper. The innkeeper will carry barrels of mead from the storehouse and sell them for us. Yes, my dear? Right away. We don't have enough gold to do that. Villagers have arrived. How can I help? Okay. We don't have enough gold to do that.
Your wish. Move along. Mining. Yeah, it's dynamite. As you wish. What was that? No! Hobbles! My beautiful Hobbles! They stole you away from me! You're right, mate. No, I am not all right. Those filthy goblins have stolen my Hobbles away from me. Oh, I can't stand the thought of their filthy, rough hands all over him. I feel faint. No! Oh. Who are you? And what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere anyway? I am Camfrey Mageflower, and Lord Blackdark banished Hobbles and I for living an, uh, alternative lifestyle. What, for being, um... No, silly! Hobbles is my familiar! Oh, right, that's, uh, that's like a pet, is it? More than a pet. We have a magical bond! Our minds and souls are intertwined in a beautiful, penetrating partnership. Lord Blackdark banned all wizards from having familiars. He thought it was creepy. Sounds a bit overly familiar to me. Well, yes. We were banished to this hellhole, and now my beautiful Hobbles has been taken from me! I must get him back, no matter what the cost. I can't do this on my own. I need some big, strong lads to help me. Oh, well... I heard the goblins talking about some settlers they'd kidnapped from a nearby village. They must be on the other side of this wall. Now, the first problem is how we break through these gates. I think this may be a bit much for even your rippling physique. So how do we get through? Let me think. Aha! Hobbles and I were looking for somewhere warm to snuggle up the other night, and we happened on an old golem. We could use that to bash through the gates. If I remember correctly, it was a McDongle Mark IV, so you'll need to insert a McDongle's gem of rebooting to reset its commands before it will obey you. Now, I've seen a gem of rebooting. Where was that? Ah, yes! The deserted monastery up on White Peak. Watch out for the monks, who found enlightenment by becoming werewolves and now practice were -thoo. It's like Kung Fu, but hairier. Fetch the gem of rebooting, activate the golem, then bring it back here. Then we can use it to break down the doors and rescue Hobbles and the villagers! Hurrah! Uh, right you are, sir. 